Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video lecture, I will explain you complete difference between the spiral reinforcement column as well as the tie reinforcement column. So basically in the column construction, we will use two types of the columns based on the reinforcement values. One is related to the spiral or we can call it as helical reinforcement. In the same process, we will use nowadays most of the people are using tie reinforcement bus. Okay. So if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. Let's start our video. So these are the basic differences between the ties reinforcement as well as the spiral reinforcement which is consisting of the major seven differences that I am explaining. So we have the plenty of the differences exist between this uh, tie, uh, spiral reinforcement as well as the uh, tie reinforcement also. But the major points we have to focus here is only seven points. Okay. So basically columns are the vertical members which is used to transfer the loads from the uh, beam sections to the foundation section. They are act as an intermediate member used to transfer the loads. Okay. So basically the column will take compressive load. We can call it as axial load also. Okay. So due to the presence of the compressive loading condition system, the load will be directly transferred to the point, center point of the particular column. So now I will explain you uh, what is the uh, basic difference between the uh, spiral reinforcement as well as the helical reinforcement as per the diagrammatic representation. Let us consider this is the vertical column and, uh, bar. Okay, so this is a column bar and this is one column bar. Okay, so this is front view, not the correct view. So again, it will be consisting of some more bars here like this for the particular column section. So if you consider this particular bar section, uh, if the reinforcement of the particular tie is consisting of the spiral here like this. Okay, so if you consider this stirrup section, uh, lateral ties, it, it will be consisting of the spiral sections continuous member. Okay, this will be comes under your spiral reinforcement section. And if you consider the uh, column which is consisting of the main reinforcement bar vertical here like this in between this respected main reinforcement bar it will be connected with the lateral ties we can call it as lateral ties here like this okay we can call it as uh, ties reinforcement column now i will explain you the basic differences between the spiral reinforcement column as well as the ties reinforcement bar in the first one is in the spiral reinforcement bar the cylindrical the reinforcement bars the spiral reinforcement bar the cylindrical bars are provided with continuous spiral bars warped around them okay so if you consider this is the main reinforcement bar another one is main reinforcement bar okay the, the main reinforcement bar was kept in the position by using this spiral continuous bar this is red color mark indicates your spiral continuous bar which is warped around the uh, vertical reinforcement bar okay like this now we can see this is a spiral reinforcement bar this is the first one and in the tie reinforcement bar generally it will be consisting of the, the vertical reinforcement bars here like this in between this respected uh, reinforcement we will provide the lateral ties here like this okay so for this respected section uh, of tie reinforcement bar we can use it for the circular section also rectangular section also or as well as the square section also for example let us consider i have the circular column here like this this is the front view this is the top view you can consider the ties as the circular shape also okay so we can consider the ties as the circular shape but in front view it will be consisting of the ties here like this it is not the spiral one okay you can use this particular uh, ties reinforcement for any cross section like circular cross section rectangular cross section square cross section or if your column is polygon you can use for those cross sections also but when you come to spiral reinforcement it is only extremely used for the spiral uh, for the circular column and sections only so this is the main point we have to focus okay that is the second point generally it will be consisting of the circular shape it will be consisting of any shape like a circular rectangular square or polygon okay like this okay and third one is in spiral re uh, reinforcement bar in the spiral column and section spiral restricts the concrete in lateral expansion okay basically this is the important point in the spiral reinforcement bar we have to focus so in spiral reinforcement bar due to the presence of the continuous spiral bars it will restrict the uh, concrete in lateral expansion basically if you are not provided a uh, spiral continuous bar if you provided with individual bars it will be chance of getting uh, uh, getting the lateral ties expansion 
So in order to avoid that problem, we are going with the spiral re reinforcement bar. This is the important point. And next one is in the spiral reinforcement bar, as for the strength point of view, it will be having more strength when you compare with the tie reinforcement bar. Okay, this is the next point we have to focus. And the last point is related to if you consider the any kind of the building structural model which is exist in high seismic zone, basically we will use it to uh, construct the cost effective construction as well as the safety. Okay, if you consider the zone 5 seismic condition, it will be having high amount of the seismic loading condition. So in order to reduce the seismic loading condition system, we have to go with the earthquake resistant model. In that particular high resistance uh, earthquake zone condition system, this spiral reinforcement is helpful as the cost effective method. Okay, this is the third point. In the tire reinforcement bar, generally used to maintain the vertical reinforcement bar in vertical position. Okay, that is only the point we have to focus. Okay. And for the uh, sp spiral column, in the, the main advantage in the spiral reinforcement column is when you apply the optimal load which is called as ultimate loading condition system for the particular column section, it will give you the warning before failure. Okay, So it will be give you the warning before failure in order to take the uh, proper actions okay if you consider the column section there will be a chance of getting uh, failures of the particular column section due to the presence of the ultimate loading condition system in the spiral reinforcement section it will give you the warning it will show you some cracks like that it will show you some reinforcement like this okay so you can take the necessary action uh, to overcome that particular damage okay but in this particular tire reinforcement section it will take only the axial loading condition system due to the presence of the axial loading condition system in some times if your load is exceeding the ultimate loading condition there will be a chance of directly collapsing of the structural member without giving any warning this is the major disadvantage in Tice reinforcement bar. Okay, so this is the fourth point we have to keep in mind. So for construction of this particular spiral reinforcement column, the skilled labor is required. Okay, so in the particular tice reinforcement uh, column section, the skilled labor doesn't require. Okay, so skilled labor is required for this particular uh, spiral reinforcement column, but the skilled labor doesn't require for the tice reinforcement column. Okay, and the next one is uh, minimum. For the spiral reinforcement column, we need minimum six number of the bars. Why? Because it will be a circular. As per the IS four five six codal provision standard system, we need the four uh, six bars uh, minimum as per the circular cross section. Again, in the same process for the tice reinforcement bars, if you consider for the rectangular section column, it will be consisting of four bars and uh, or a square also four bars. In the same process, if you consider the circular section column, it is required six bars. Okay. And last and final one is the diameter of the reinforcement bar for the column section is minimum of 12 mm we have to use. Okay. And the distance between the longitudinal bars, which is nothing but this spiral, we can call it as the distance between the longitudinal bars we can use or uh, not less than 300 mm. We can call it as cover in the tie reinforcement bar. In a similar process, the diameter of the reinforcement bar should be 12 mm for the ties reinforcement bars. In the same process, it will be consisting of center to center distance between the ties should not be greater than 300 mm as the limit for the ties reinforcement bar. Okay. So as per the conclusion of this video, if you need the more strength and more safety, you have to go with the spiral reinforcement section. Okay, you doesn't go with the ties reinforcement section. Okay, but in practical situations nowadays the skilled labor is uh, doesn't uh, having in the construction industry. Due to that reason, most of the people are going with the tie reinforcement section, which is related to circular. Uh, sorry, which is related to uh, square column section as well as the rectangular column section. That is the only disadvantage in this section okay so but as per the strength point of view as per the safety point of view you have to go with the spiral reinforcement section so this is the conclusion about this uh, differences between the spiral reinforcement as well as the ties reinforcement if you have any queries about this video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that i will give you the uh, answers for the questions and most of the people have not subscribed to my channel please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon so that it will help me to give the better content for you thank you for watching my video thank you